Santosh Gaidanka. Today we are teaching about the V-built drive in the type 1 problem when the mu and gamma is even. This is the diagram. Sorry, this is the question. A V-belt is to be arranged between the shaft whose center distance is 300 mm. The data is given here. The diameter is given. P is given. N1 is given. N2 is given. And we have to find out the number of belt required. That is P given to add the P required. Area is given. Area is equal to 400 mm. And W weight is given. It converted into 0 0.01 into 10 to 6 Newton meter cube. Meter cube. Next, sigma 1 and sigma d is given. Sigma 1 and sigma 1 is 2.1 Newton per mm square. Next, mu is given 0 0.27. And 2 alpha, it is a V-belt drive. The angle will be 2 alpha here. 2 alpha is nothing but how much they have given it? 40. Therefore, alpha will be 20 degree. Now, apart from this one, we have to find out the initial tension. That is T naught we have to find out. The case will be same as that of the flat drive. But, only simple thing is change here. In the case of flat belt drive, you are going to write e raised to mu theta s minus 1 e raised to e theta s here. But now we are going to replace it e raised to mu theta s divided by sine alpha minus 1 divided by e raised to mu theta s divided by sine alpha. This sine alpha comes in picture when the V belt is given. When it is a flat belt, there is no need to consider the sine alpha. This is the difference here. Okay, why I am taken, taken the theta s is nothing but only single mu is given. Therefore, I have to consider theta s here. Now, first I will find the velocity here. Velocity v is equal to pi d1 n1 divided by 60,000. Don't consider the thickness here. It is a V-belt drive. If it is a flat, you have to consider thickness pi into 850 into 960 divided by 60,000 you will get 42.72 meter per second and this value for this one we require theta s same theta s is nothing but pi minus 2 sine inverse d by d divided by 2c into pi by 180 I have vanity. Uh, one thing. Okay, I have here. No problem. Before going to this formula, we have to find out D2. That is capital D we have to find out. Therefore, N1 D1 is equal to N2 D2. N1 divided by N2 is equal to D2 divided by D1. Therefore, 960 divided by 480 is equal to uh, d1 is a thing but uh, 850 is equal to d2 the d2 will be 1700 once you know this well substitute here already c is known theta s is equal to pi minus 2 sine inverse 1700 minus 850 divided by 4 2 into 300 into pi by 180. The answer will be 2.8572 radian. After getting this value, find out the k here. This one k. k is equal to e raised to 0 0.27 into 2.8572 divided by sine 20 minus 1 divided by e raised to 0 0.27 into 2.8572 the answer will be 9.54 9.54 I'm going to respond in the next page
fivefold. Now substitute this formula a1t is equal to 1000 p divided by v sigma t minus w by g v square into 10 raised to minus 6 into k. This for uh, old formula we are using it. Here we are finding the p here. Everything they have given it. This is nothing but what a. Value of a is given. They have given us 400. 400. 1000. P divided by 42.72. 2.1. Minus 0 0.01 into 10 raised to 6. Divided by 9.8. And this is one here. It is already written in the data in book. 42.72 square into 10 to minus 6 into k 0 0.895. The p value will be here 3.66 kilowatt. This is the required one or obtained one. Consider this is required. Now finding the number of built. belt i is nothing but p given to the p required columns are very simple here required the p given is nothing but how much 75 already they are given divided by 3.66 the answer will be 20.5 consider approximately 21 plus of belt now we are focusing upon the initial tension the same Initial tension also, initial tension, initial tension, initial tension, 2T0 is equal to T1 plus T2. Formula will be sigma 1 minus sigma c divided by sigma 2 minus sigma c is equal to E raised to mu theta, yes. What is sigma c? Sigma c is nothing but the combination of this one is we call as sigma c. Sigma c. And the value for sigma c is a sigma c is equal to 0 0.01 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 9.8 watt into 42. 72 square into 10 raised to minus 6. The formula will be sigma c is equal to w by g v square into 10 raised to minus 6. The operand value will be 1.861 newton per mm square. Now sigma 1 it is already known 2.1 minus 1.861 divided by sigma 2 minus 1.861 is equal to 9.54 therefore the sigma 2 will be 1.886 newton per mm square now t1 is nothing but what sigma 1 into a sigma 1 is 2.1 into a is nothing but 400 therefore answer will be 840 newton T2 will be sigma 2 into A 1.886 into 400. It will be 754.4 Newton. Substitute in the above formula. This formula you have to substitute. 2 theta naught is equal to root 840 plus root 754.4. Squaring both sides, you will get T naught is equal to. 796 point 796.648 I am Satish Gadankar Thank you very much